Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video. So guys, uh, in the last video of our Android basics, we learned about how to create a basic dice rolling app in Android using Kotlin. And today guys, we are going to use the same application and trying to add some more updates to it, try to make it more optimized, try to add some images and play with it a bit differently. So basically, today's video we are going to explore about images and resource capability in android kotlin before i start with the video guys if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications let's get started with today's video so guys uh, for those of you who have not seen my previous content and they are already familiar with how kotlin and android work maybe for you it's easier to understand so here we have just created a simple app where we just have a button and on the click of this button basically this text here changes to one to six depending upon the random integer that comes by uh, you know comes by the random int okay for those of you who do not really understand uh, the basics of kotlin and android please go watch my previous video to understand how i uh, created this app so let's get started with today's uh, content now so for now guys the app looks like this right so we just click on it and it shows us a number so what we want is not that it should show me a number i want basically an image of a dice to be displayed here okay so because we have got six numbers we need six images of dice every time uh, you know a number is shown the dice uh, face should be showing that number right so guys uh, with me i have got this images folder okay i downloaded it from somewhere it has basically got six images of dice and one empty dice image these are all xml documents guys so basically you can have your own png files also but in this case they are all xml document so I'll just go uh, copy it out and go into my drawable folder and I'm just gonna paste it here. Okay. Just click on okay. And once you click on okay guys, you can see that my dice image is here. And if you just select the XML file, you see inside the code of that XML file, it kind of looks like this. So it basically, it's like a SVG file in which you are given the path and uh, how which color is going to be there you know everything so these are the coordinates the path and the color so this xml basically enables us to create a image like this dice okay so now that we have the images of dice what we need is actually to replace the text which we uh, are looking at this here with this image okay so how can we do that? So in the last video, I showed you my activity main.xml. So let's go open this activity main.xml now. So I'm just gonna go into the code part of it. In this activity main.xml, we created a text view, which was able to show us these images. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete this text view and I'm going to replace it with image view. Okay, so just take this text view and replace it with image view obviously image doesn't need the text part and the text size what image actually needs is the source of that image okay so to make that you do android source becomes equals to at the rate drawable so at the rate drawable and here you can see that in the intelligence i can see all the images which are there in my drawable folder so by default, I'll just select dice one. Okay. And let's name this image as dice image. Okay. Now, if I go into the design view, you can see that the image shows in my design view. But now the issue is in my main activity, I will get an error. You can see that in my main activity, when I was... Uh, calling this function roll dice it basically tries to find by id r dot id dot result and it puts it into a text view but now the text view is no longer there and also the result text view is not there now we have r dot id called dice image so first of all you have to replace the id with dice image replace the text view with image view 
and also guys what we have to do here instead of setting the text we have to set the result text uh, sorry this image views image okay so let's change the variable name to something called as dice image and what we have to do is based upon this random int we actually have to change the image so what we will do we will create a variable drawable drawable resource okay and this drawable resource is going to have a switch case value so when random int so based upon the random int value if the random int is 1 it is going to return r dot drawable dot dice 1 and I'm just gonna copy paste it six times and whenever the value is 2 it's going to return 2 4 5 6 and similarly here also I will change okay 3 4 5 and 6 okay so what's going to happen here guys that and in the end okay so let's put six as an else it's because we need else here so let's put six as an else so let's do that so now the when error is resolved so when is like a switch case guys so you need a default case here so six is our default case and if there is any other number then we are going to show that particular dice image in my drawable resource i have that dice image now all i have to do is set it to my image view so i have got this dice image let's name it dice image view okay so i've got this dice image view now all i have to do is dice image view dot set image resource and pass the drawable resource here okay in fact you can see that I'm getting a small error on random int that it is it, this value could be in line so I can actually cut this out put this in random uh, when and there you go okay now if I try to run this app instead of actually showing text on my screen I'll be actually shown different images of dice based upon the random number which gets selected by this random function okay let's see how that goes so now the launch is succeeded let's open my so you can see how beautiful it looks so i'm just gonna roll the dice now and you can see that as i roll the dice the image changes depending on the random int which gets selected so how beautiful it looks now okay now guys uh, that we know how to add images we have to optimize this code okay so you can see here in roll dice i am trying to find the view by id what this find view by id does it actually goes to all the views inside my activity main.xml so in activity main.xml you can see i've got image view and i can add like 10 more views here it goes inside all those views and it tries to find out the view which i have given by the id so obviously this roll dice function is going to called uh, be called every time I'm gonna I'm gonna click that button right so we don't want every time this search to be happening so what we can do to optimize it definitely is to somehow initialize the dice image view before you know in the initializer somewhere in the constructor maybe right but we know that main activity does not have any constructor so what we have to do is the only place I can initialize a dice image view is in the onCreate function, right? But obviously guys, if I put the dice image view in onCreate functions, for example, if I cut this out and I put it here, I won't be able to access that I dice image view in the roll dice function, right? Because then it becomes, you know, uh, local to the onCreate function and it is not available here. So what I'll do instead is I'm going to create a var, not a val, a var dice image view here. And I'm going to just going to, you know, declare it and initialize it null. Okay. And now in my on create here, I'm going to assign dice image view becomes equals to find view by ID. 
and now you can see that in the roll dice function my error should get resolved but no why my error is not resolved it is because guys in the dice image view we have written that the default value of dice image view is null okay so if the default value is null here and you are calling a function on a null variable kotlin is going to strictly check it out and it is going to say to you that either you add the null check which is like this or you cannot call this function okay but we don't want to add the null check everywhere right because this image maybe we are using in multiple functions but we know we know that this is getting initialized in on create we know that it is not going to be null it is getting initialized in on create so what we can do something called as late init so using late init guide you don't have to initialize your dice image view to null actually it basically means that you are assuring kotlin that don't check for null here you don't need to check for null whenever a function is going to be called on this object this is going to have some value so here you can see that i am not calling any i am not using any null check here and it works perfectly fine so now if i run my app you, you will see that the app is going to run exactly the same but the difference here is that we have optimized our code now we are not going to find out the view image view every single time we are rolling the dice okay so basically it just improves your performance okay so yeah there you go you can see the performance is you know you might not notice it in this particular uh, smaller use case but you will notice it in other applications okay now now you can see guys that whenever i am starting my app the default image is shown to me as number 1 why because in activity main.xml what i gave that android source becomes equals to dice underscore one i don't want that i don't want that by default some dice number should be displayed so what i do here i choose the empty image die empty dice image and i put it like that so now if i you know simply run my code what's going to happen is that by default you will not see any dice on screen and this we can verify it even by not deploying that in my design view you can see that there is nothing here so no dice is being displayed here so definitely it means that here in my emulator also you will not see anything so okay once you only click the roll dice function you will see the dice image based upon the number which was selected which is good but the problem here is guys when you are designing something like this you have given an empty dice image but let's suppose you are designing something like this and you want to see how the dice actually looks right so either you can you know change this to dice one and see in your design that okay now the dice looks fine so now before deploying the code let me change it back to empty dice right but there is a better way to do it there is something called as tools here tools underscore source colon source equals to drawable dot dice one so what is tools uh, guy does guys so basically in case of uh, activity main we have got two name spaces so if you go a slightly up you will see in your linear layout we have got two name spaces android and we have got the name space tools so whenever you are declaring any object with the tools name space whenever you are initializing any object of the tools name space this is only going to be used when you see it in your design so here you can see that in your design you will see a dice but in the android source i am having an empty dice so if i actually rerun my application you will see the exact same output which we were seeing before that is an empty dice initially and the dice image comes after you roll but in case of your design you actually see the dice image beforehand because in design the image is picked up from the tools namespace okay it's only if you have not defined the tools namespace here so if if i don't define it then it will take the android namespace so just to verify it you can see that now in my emulator there is no image but in my in my design there is image so always use tools namespace to actually design your app 
but if you want to deploy our app then use android namespace okay when your application is getting deployed it will only take into consideration the um, android namespace not the tools namespace okay so uh, so that was a video guys that were few uh, small things which can optimize your app and help you to use the resources if you're using drawable help you to use the resources of images and i hope guys uh, this video was clear to you and it was much more helpful and try to understand you some more basics of android if it has helped you guys then please 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 do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications if you have any question comment suggestions for me write down in the comment section below i'm definitely gonna address them and uh, Thank you so much for watching guys. Please like this video, share this video with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.